actually many people don't know but I I suffer from depression you know I've uh, I've been suffering from depression pretty much all my life and uh, I always try to put out this kind of stoic kind of cold but caring never faced personality you know but to be honest I'm always I'm always pretty lonely pretty sad pretty depressed it's just my natural state of being and I already accepted it but there's different levels of sadness you know and there's the happy kind of sad there's my normal kind of sad and then there's my I want to kill myself kind of sad you know but uh yeah I, I I can already see the comments in YouTube like someone's gonna write a uh, just go kill yourself already blah 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 but actually reddit comments and YouTube comments don't really depress me it's like it's more like interpersonal things that bother me you know the things that get to me but anyways uh, this is about photography and depression and you know when I was younger I used to skateboard because I pretty early on found out that if I keep myself busy then I can keep photography away when I was in college I used to be in a swim team and go to the gym so that helped me keep depression at bay you know but once I came to Korea I started making YouTube videos I mean not only because I like Korea but because I knew that the, the more I keep myself busy like if I'm doing something then I'm less likely to uh, get depressed and commit suicide or something like that but actually when I discovered photography like when I started taking photos and it wasn't just a way to keep depression at bay it was also a way of treating depression for me you know like uh, I quickly found out that if I was sad or not having kind thoughts I could just uh, grab my camera go out and maybe I'll feel a little bit better not always you know but it helped me to some degree like uh, when I hold a camera in my hand and it's just me versus the world you know like everything slows down I become like a passenger like I don't interact with the world it's just me behind the glass sorry to be talking so like artsy and stuff like I really hate it when people start talking like oh yeah art so beautiful and blah 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 yeah anyways it's one of those moments when I'm behind the camera like I'm just an observer everything slows down I love the way the lenses feel when I'm focusing because I use manual lenses so it feels like really buttery I like I like just watching people you know and photography lets me do that not only as a creative outlet and it, not only does it keep me busy but just the time being alone and just shooting by myself is kind of like my therapy you know photography is my therapy and uh, before it wasn't like that before photography it was just okay once I get depressed that's it I'm gonna be stuck in depression for a few weeks and uh, let's hope I don't kill myself or something like that you know but once I found photography it's more like a way to to treat it and uh, actually when I was in college I used to take medicine like uh, they gave me these pills and you know I'm very pro-science and pro-medicine but honestly I think those pills made it worse like they always made me feel kind of itchy like, I don't know it's a hard way to describe it it's like it made me it made it worse in a way but thank God for photography, okay? Oh, we're going. We're actually going to go back this way. Oops. So, anyways, as I was saying, me as a person, I like being alone. But but I like knowing. I like the idea that someone is there for me if I need them. You know, it's like I'm kind of like a cat, I guess. Like I don't want your attention, but I want to know you're there. Like people get too close to me, I kind of freak out. And I push everybody away. That's why I like photography, you know, because I can go out and shoot by myself. But like sometimes I can go out and shoot with friends too. 
I think I think if you're an artist you're going to be sensitive like I don't know if it's just me but I think that the most successful artists are always the most sensitive ones or just creative people in general just tend to be more sensitive to the world you know like they tend to be to notice things that other people don't and just be more expressive in general so if you're like an artist of some sort of please let me know if you're like I don't know if you're sensitive or to the point of depression like me but I don't know it's just my theory I have no no data to back that up but anyways ever since photography came to my life I I found the creative outlet of my choice and the only regret I have is uh, not discovering photography earlier you know because hey photography helps it's not that much of extra income also it just it helps me a little bit i like creating beautiful things you know even if people aren't looking at my pictures i don't really care because i do it mostly for myself and it just feels good that people enjoy my photography with me you know it's like this is an activity i can do with people but not actually be with people you know like uh I, I kind of hate people. Not not in a. I don't want to put that in a bad way. I just don't like people in general. I I uh, I'm I'm pretty cynical, you know. Once you get to know me, I I really have low expectations for everybody. Like uh, just I don't put my faith in anyone but myself, and that's just the way I am. But but I learned to trust other photographers. Like photographers are actually tend to be a pretty good bunch. I know I read uh, I watched some YouTube videos by other famous youtubers they say photographers are mean to each other blah 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 always putting each other down but that's never been my experience thank god for that so for me photography is a blessing you know so i've actually had moments and uh, i don't even know if i tell you guys this but i've had times where i just found myself with a knife in my hand you know like just just end it all and then it rains. Go out and take photos. Don't worry, I'm not gonna off myself anytime soon. Just, but I do know, like when I die, it's probably gonna be by my own hand. But not anytime soon. Don't worry about me. But yeah, I'm glad you guys uh, watch this video. It's very personal to me and. I know someone out there is going to hopefully use this in a positive manner, you know. Photography is beautiful, you know, it's a very creative outlet and I just love slowing down and shooting. Shooting people, you know, not, not shooting myself. Guns are legal in Korea, you know. But anyways, if you guys are interested in this place, I actually have a, view, a few videos about uh, Dong the Moon history and Coach Park. I'll put the uh, the links below or something. And uh, no, thanks for being my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. You know, we keep it real here. So I'll see you guys around.